Hello everyone. So as you know, the month of October is celebrated as October Fest, wherein you can contribute to open source projects and earn a free T-shirt. And the rules are you have to contribute to four different projects and submit a pull request to those projects. And once your code gets submitted or your pull request gets accepted to the various repositories, you can earn a free T-shirt. Or this year you can even plant a tree. So in today's video, I am going to showcase some of the projects which I have uploaded on GitHub and to which you can contribute in order to earn your free T-shirt. So let's begin with actual process. Now the first thing that you can see is this is the official Hacktoberfest website from which you can actually enroll for Hacktoberfest and begin the process of earning a free t-shirt. Now the first thing that you need to do is go to hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com. I will add the link in the description for easier access and click on start hacking then you need to sign in with github and once your sign in is done you are enrolled for october fest uh, festival or process and here you can see all your prs and stuff now as i mentioned earlier i have uploaded a list of 15 different projects on github which you can have easy access to from this url i will submit this url in the description of the video so that you can directly go to this repository. Now the basic process of getting a successful pull request here in your progress bar is you have to open or contribute to an issue and hopefully the maintainer of the project which who, who is actually maintaining the code base will accept your contributions. Now, as you can see, there are 15 different projects which you can contribute to. And I'm going to cover three different ways in which you can contribute. First is an easier one. Second is a bit uh, code based and third is uh, for advanced users. So let's begin with the easier one. Now, if you click on each of these links, you will be directed to a repository of individual projects. Now, for example, this is a ID card generator project in which you can generate an ID card by adding your form details and when you click on generate card, you have a card like this. And various contributors have already contributed to this project. And as you can see, I have a contributor who made this variation of ID card generator. Now, first I will cover the easier process by which you can actually contribute. So if you go to the issues tab here, I have an issue open, which is updated me with sample learning resources. So what this essentially means is you can actually uh, uh, comment on these issues so that you will be assigned to this project. And from there on, you can add reading resources to the projects. So just to give you a brief example, let's say uh, you have a clicker app and you want to submit a learning resources like this. These are the some of the learning resources which have been submitted by the contributors. So what you can do is you can go to the issues tab click on add learning resources to the readme file and comment on this issue like uh, add the written whatever and I would like to take this up. Now once you are uh, added as an assign here, so I will be the one who will add you to the assignment. I will tell you, let you know that yes, you can contribute to this project and hopefully open up a request. Now the next thing that you need to do is once you are accepted to this project or added an assignment, go to the readme file and click on edit. Once you are here, you can edit the readme file and go to the learning resource section here and add your own links. Now the learning resources which I am actually looking for are medium articles or uh, articles from dev2 or youtube tutorials. So those are the preferred ones but you can even contribute to other learning sources. Now as you can see, this is a markdown syntax. Now, if you don't know about markdown, what you can do is search for markdown cheat sheet and you will find the first uh, site here which uh, tells you how about how markdown works. Don't get into all the details for now. All you need to know about is how to submit links. Now, in case of links, you need to add the link name and URL in this syntax in order to submit 
a link to a project. So what you can do is you can go to your readme file and once you have popped uh, the PR. So once you have edited the readme file, a fork is automatically created in your GitHub profile. Then create a square bracket and a circular bracket. And here you can add a sample resource. For example, I'm using hooks in React.js. So let's say you search for in React.js online. And you find all the tutorials. So let's say I search for some tutorials. And since I want resource from Medium, I can search for Medium tutorial. Now, let's say this is the article which you want to submit to my PR. So just go through the article once so that you can make sure that it's a good article. And from the looks of it, this looks like a detailed article which you can submit. So copy the URL, uh, click on and paste the URL here. And let's say you can write medium article by the author name. And once you are done, you can preview the changes. So let's say this is the article which you uploaded. So let's say it was a medium article by David Katz. So you can write medium article by David Katz here and preview the changes. Once you have done, you can comment the changes and hopefully it will be reflected in your code on your GitHub profile. Next, you submit it as a pull request to my base branch. Now, since I am the maintainer, I won't be able to do it. And once you have a pull request open, so as you can see, here you will find all the pull requests. Now, you can submit the pull request from your account to this account and just comment on the issue that you have opened the pull request. And once I have access to the pull request code, I will review it once and approve it. For example, these are the pull requests which were opened previously. So, uh, sorry, this is the one wrong one. So, so this is the kind of pull request like uh, someone had added a learning resources for hooks and added the pull request. So I actively see and monitor if someone has opened pull request in my comment section and I approve them with fact over face labels. And once the pull requests are merged into the base branch, I make sure that you are added as a contributor so that the contributors are labeled here in the contributor section and that is how you can actually become a contributor to this project now this was the easier easiest way to be a contributor to these 15 projects now the second way in which you can contribute is you can build your own variation of these projects so there are two ways which you can do one is you can modify the css of the solution code so i have uh, actually added a solution folder here which contains a basic solution to this problem statement. For example, this is a clicker app. And as you can see, it creates a basic clicker in React.js. And what you can do is you can for, uh, create a copy of this solution one into your own code base. And from that, you can modify the CSS and then submit it as a pull request as I previously showed you. And you can submit uh, so different solution like this where you have a different kind of style sheet from the one which is mentioned in the base solution and then you can submit a solution as a pull request again if you want to submit your own solutions make sure that you comment on the second issue which is build your own variation of let's say clicker app or whatever and then i can add you as an assign here and from that, you can build your solution in the solution folder which I assigned to you. Now, this is done because there are multiple contributors, and this allows me to take in solutions from various contributors as a number. So, for example, solution one was the solution which I added. Solution three might be a solution which has been added by some other contributor. 
us might be solution underscore four and so on that way we have multiple solutions to this repo and the last and the most advanced one is you create your own variation so what you can do is every project every one of these 15 projects has a starter code in which there is no implementation it is just a base way in which you can create your clicker app and then you can add in your own css and then submit it as your custom solution again that will be added into the solution for folder and so on so that is how these 15 projects are structured now for now i have opened only the first five projects for contributions because and even the eighth one so that i can easily track or take contributions easily and i'm able to focus on the code base of each individual users eventually i will open all the 15 projects for submissions and hopefully you can submit your own solutions by either submitting learning resources on the first issue modifying the css or modifying the code so as you can see i have a list of 15 projects and the conditions for october first is you only need to submit full four some successful pull requests so go and explore each of these projects and if you want to uh, submit to any of those projects feel free to open your pr now another thing is at, if at some uh, step if you get stuck obviously you can comment here that i am stuck on this project and you can obviously get in touch with me and i will fly back another way in which you can get in touch is either uh, dm me on twitter or linkedin so i will just mention my twitter and linkedin profiles in the description of the section and another way in which you can get back to me is i have opened a slack box space for this uh, entire 15 projects and you can dm me there and hopefully i will get back to you with any issues now this is a part of my upcoming course which in which you can actually develop uh, 15 react projects and hopefully become an expert in learning react yes so if you are interested in enrolling for the course you can join the slack workspace in the description toolbox and hopefully uh, learn these 15 projects from me and i will get in touch accordingly based on your level of interest so the 15 projects go on from a user id card generator which is a basic id card generation app then incrementally you move on and uh, build an advanced level projects and start learning various concepts of react and how the basic uh, methods in react are expert then you go on to make api requests to open apis and by the end of the 15 project you create your own developer portfolio in which you can have a, your own list of these 15 projects which will significantly improve your chances of getting a job or getting recognized in the industry so that was the whole thought process behind this 15 project cycles now there is no need to uh, means uh, necessary need that you have to learn it from me as you can see that all these 15 projects are already available you can fork them and learn it at your own pace if you want and obviously get in touch with me if you have any doubts now if you want to actually learn it from me again that is also possible so that's the gist of October first fears. Now, hopefully, you can learn and contribute to them. Now, I am not going into the very basic version of how you can open your pull request and stuff. Now, if you are interested in that, a uh, good way to actually learning this are go to October first event section. So. The entire month of October, there are various events which are organized by various uh, contributors. So, for example, if you are from India, so you can search for India here. And you can find all the events which are actually promoting and making you uh, understand how you can contribute to them. And you can RSVP into any one of them and attend the October Fest events and actually learn how to open PRs and stuff. And even all those events will get you access to various uh, contributions in which you can contribute to.
so feel free to attend any of those events learn about how to make a pull request and you can even search on them it's not a much difficult process and if you're updating readme files it's pretty straightforward and you can actually uh, figure it out on your own so hopefully uh, you can submit your pull request and i'm looking forward to your contributions that's it for today's video thank you and have a nice day and happy coding see ya